Hi, I recently purchased a Lenovo Helix 2nd generation. Along with my research and time spent with it, I'd like to inform you of the differences between the generations. The Lenovo Helix ThinkPad Helix is a, was a convertible ultrabook released by Lenovo in 2013 and 2014. The first generation is uh, labeled as uh, a Type 3 XXX on Lenovo's website. And the second generation uh, product is labeled a Type 20 CG slash CH. The one I purchased was a 20 CH. CH denotes that it has a built-in da cellular data modem. So one noticeable difference uh, between uh, the first and second generation Pro keyboards is the appearance of the, the track point physical buttons, these three here. Uh, this is, the, these are virtual uh, track point buttons on the first generation, but because I'm a, tra I'm a track point uh, fan, uh, I actually preferred having the physical buttons. Uh, both Pro keyboards have an eternal uh, battery, uh, extending the life of your tablet when attached uh, up to 9 to 10 hours. Uh, but docking uh, is a little different between the generations. As you can see, it attaches, the second generation atta attachment is in the middle, whereas the first generation is offset to the left. This makes uh, that this makes compatibility between the two uh, impossible, meaning you would not be able to use a second generation docking station uh, pro docking keyboard on a first generation, and vice versa. Also, the pro keyboard on the second generation does not have does not have the the fans uh, fans that were on the first generation pro keyboard um, also uh, I actually had to buy this uh, pro keyboard uh, because of when it came with it um, the battery was already dead uh, and I'm so uh, but I was able to find uh, the seller uh, advertised this one as new and it, and it came in a box that appeared to be new and uh, for $60 Another main difference between the first and generation uh, Hel uh, Helixes is the uh, type of processor that was used on the first generation uh, they just they went with an i5 and third generation i5 and i7 series um, that's where uh, the fan design on the pro keyboards came into play uh, they helped uh, cool down the pro uh, the tap the the device um, but with the core M um, uh, you don't need such uh, it, uh, it required less it required less cooling or didn't need much as cooling also uh, while researching about the helix uh, I did find out with the i7 that screen delaminating de was an issue uh, because of the heat that was generated from the especially from the i7 processors uh, so it would actually delaminate the screen um, so that's another reason why I went with uh, going with the core M another reason why I went with the, the second generation uh, Helix is because uh, it seemed like from the uh, listings that were available, all the second generations had uh, a 256 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I had definitely wanted the 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the 256 gigabytes of storage was a bonus. Uh, with the first generation Helixes, I, I, I was okay with getting an i5 processor. But I, uh, I noticed that most of the listings for the i5 first generations 
only came with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Um, I definitely wanted the 8 gigabyte, and so um, uh, it is an option on the first generation, but most of the time it was on an i7 processor. And like I said, I did not want to deal with the delaminating uh, screens with the uh, i7 processors. And uh, also 256 was also an option. Uh, but again, those usually came with the i7, uh, 8 gigs of RAM. Um, also, uh, because with the second generation, uh, there was uh, an option there was uh, you could in you could expand the internal storage uh, with a belt in micro SD uh, that uh, there was no micro SD or SD slot on the first generation another reason why I decided to go with uh, the helix um, product in general was because of its uh, uh, operating system support uh, I specifically was looking at the Helix because I, I wanted, uh, I actually do want, like the Windows 8.1 uh, operating system when using uh, it as a tablet, uh, but I did see that there was support back into back to up to Windows Vista on the Lenovo uh, support page, so that was good to see, and I also noticed. Uh, with my research that uh, Linux is also supported with the Helix. Uh, mostly it was the first generation, although mostly it was the first generation Helix that they were referring to. So if you are interested in running uh, Linux um, uh, Linux on uh, a Helix, uh, you should probably get the first generation. The Helix also has stylus support. Uh, it is, this is a pressure sensitive stylus. I'm not going to open up anything, but hopefully you can see that it does work. Um, now, a stylus, you do need a specific stylus. This one was about $25. Uh, again, uh, I can provide a link to, to it uh, if you do need it. And I do believe that it is also a different stylus than the one on the Generation 1. Uh, please leave a comment below if I'm incorrect, but I believe. This is different from uh, the one from the first generation. Um, I could, but I, like I said, I can leave a link to this one for your second generation Helix below. Also, um, one thing nice about the first generation is, as you may have seen uh, there for the second generation, I would need to use this little loop here on the keyboard to put away the stylus, but the first generation, I believe there's a stylus silo here. You would then be able to pop out your stylus. So that is something to keep in mind, uh, just in case you don't bring your keyboard everywhere with you. Uh, another thing between the first and second generation was that they relocated think, uh, fingerprint reader uh, to the back here. Well, the first generation, I believe, is in the inside. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't work too well. Uh, this fingerprint reader doesn't work too well, so I just end up typing in my my password. Also, uh, this ThinkPad, this ThinkPad Helix is actually heavier than expected. Um, it's weighing in, I believe, at 3.65 pounds. That is quite bulky, uh, but I believe just the tablet itself is uh, just over one one and a half pounds. Another thing I wanted to definitely note was the uh, power adapter. Um, I, I th the first generation does use Lenovo's rectangular pin adapter. Uh, this is the this is commonly used on uh, their current lineups with Lenovo. Um, I actually was hoping this. The second generation used this cable because I do have other Lenovo uh, products uh, that I like, uh, that I have. So I was hoping I wouldn't need to buy another power adapter, but I did because it does take the smaller pinless adapter um, that costs about, I believe it was $40. 
Uh, I'll leave a link for that as well, affiliate link below in the description below as well. Uh, one thing I do, another thing I, I do wish, uh, I do wish that the uh, screen was, uh, the screen is a 1080p uh, 69 ratio screen. Uh, I do, I would have preferred it to be uh, a 16, uh, a 4 by 3 or 3 by 2 more of a square, uh, but um, that's just one thing I, I, that's just one thing. Um, hope you found this video informative. If you have anything you'd like to add, leave it in the comments below.